On Purim, the alcohol often flows a little more freely than we can monitor. Setting up some ground rules helps everyone to make sure that they don't overdo it. When you're the host of the party, it's your responsibility to take care of your guests. Here are some tips to make sure everyone stays safe. One, make sure that everyone is drinking responsibly. If you feel that someone isn't fit to drive, let them sleep it off, offer to drive them home, or call them a taxi. Two, set limits within your own family. Establish rules early and often about drinking. I tell my kids almost every Shabbat, in fact, are family rules about drinking. These can be whatever feels right to you, but make sure that you're clear because being clear is being kind. Number three, monitor your guests. If you have a guest who is drinking a lot of alcohol, keep them safe. Make sure they're eating enough food and drinking enough water. Parents should also be monitoring their kids, specifically teens, as teens can easily go overboard. It's okay to cut off guests who are drinking too much. If someone seems unwell and has been drinking a lot, seek medical attention right away because alcohol poisoning is a real and dangerous thing. Here are some signs to watch out for. Mental confusion or stupor, being unable to be roused, vomiting, seizures, slow breathing, fewer than eight breaths per minute, or irregular breathing, which is 10 seconds or more between breaths, and hypothermia, which is low body temperature, bluish skin color, or paleness. If these tips were helpful for you, pick up my new book, Organized Jewish Life, and have a happy Purim.